Right now, what all of these things do, um, if you want to know, though, I have a video series up about each of the individual sensors, what they do, and what the different settings want them to do. And this important thing you want to know for this tutorial is the type of sensor, which is the new device drop down here, so you can change the type of sensor you have at any time. Next to that, you have the name of the sensor, so this is good for uh, keeping the logic bricks organized. So we are actually going to go ahead and rename this right away. I'm going to name this one, uh, and I'll name it WT, because that's what we're going to put in here. So that means whenever I have it minimized, I can look over here, and I know exactly what this keyboard sensor is doing. So for the keyboard sensor, the most important thing is the key parameter right here. All you have to do is click on this uh, field here, and then press the key that you want to have activate the sensor. Well, this is the W key, so I'm going to hit W. You'll notice it adds the W key in there. So now anytime we hit the W key, the sensor will send out a signal. Okay, so moving on then to the controller. Uh, we, don't need, we don't really need a controller because we're not going to be handing this out. So in most circumstances, you can either hand it or control it, but for the most part, we're just using it because... Now, this is this optional add-on, but if you're new to Blender, I do want you to try this out as it drastically makes things easier across the world. Under part two, we have lazy import add-ons. You can select that button and it'll jump to the downloads page. Find the code button with the big green button, 